Hello, my fellow Pocket Survivors. This is the InfoFox Out Gears channel, and today we're going to be doing a little gas mess review. Before we start with the video, I'm going to make a little announcement. Uh, some of my old videos that I recently made from the beginning of my YouTube channel had a little bad quality, and I even have one negative comment posted out there. It kind of felt offensive, but I can't hear so I'll just deal with it. But anyways, um, some of those old videos I recently have on the channel, some of them will be deleted. But I only can delete the ones that I can remake. The ones I can't remake are just going to remain there in a YouTube channel with a bad quality video. Um, thank you for those six, uh, seven or eight subscribers out there in my YouTube channel. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing and viewing my YouTube channel. Now, we'll make more awesome context with the gas mask. And not only gas mask, but other stuff I have. I have plenty of stuff in my room I can review too because I have a BB guns and vest and i don't have real firearms before you guys consider it we do live in the united states so we do have that that law we have rights to bear arms so we can possibly in the future if i were to get a gun license i would like make reviews about it but nothing else um for this video if you guys are on if you guys are new in this video or new to my channel this is a nothing but the whole um equipment gear Review. So we're reviewing what about gas masks, vests, helmets, everything we can think of for use for survival. We we'll review them. I know weapon and stuff makes better gas mask videos than I do, which I admit. But again, we live in the United States where, hey, we have access to guns and a few other stuff that you that the people in the UK can't get their hands on. So for that point of view, so um, back on topic now so now back to get we're talking about gas mask um we're going to test this gas mask out with the uh what a little axe spray and what i like to say i believe this is the hose that was possibly made in poland or in china because the china made their own chinese tf1 slash the uh remastered of the uh warsack pack filled uh, hose into their chinese tf1 hose which i don't know if if it works perfectly good, good, but then I found Amazon, it took quite a while because this hose was getting shipped from Poland, not from Russia, Poland. Because the Polish makes really good stuff, actually. I admit, they make good, pretty gas mask. I should have bought their gas mask instead of buying them the Russians, but again, Russians were the first choice of reviewing an item. <clears throat> In fact, the uh, GP5 was my first gas mask in my video, and then the Soviet PMG, and then... Now we're working on getting to an Israeli Shalons A1, A4 gas mask that was used for civilians for somehow around the 90s, I think. But I don't know if I missed my history is right. But anyways, we're going to be testing this out and we're going to put it in this bag and then we're going to take it out of the bag and see if it will. If it fails, then not. Then it fails. I'm supposed to make videos that are not meant to happen or meant to happen. It's whatever happens to the item. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. I can't just edit it or nothing. You just, I just gotta admit it doesn't work. <clears throat> so let's get on to testing right now. <clears throat> so on with the gas mask. All right, let's test it out. Now smell it. That was a big fail. Um, found out the gas mask uh, filter failed to perform. I even screwed it in tight. So I thinking that maybe, the, so maybe it has to be the hose or maybe it has to do with the filter running out. Uh, let me take a look and see, see if anything looks like it's leaked out. And nothing has leaked out. I don't see any, surprisingly, I don't see no asbestos. I mean, here I can see asbestos, but and on top of the filter, we plug the hose and I don't see asbestos. So it could mean that the uh, filter itself can run out or it just, this is not compatible with the uh, the Russian gas mask filter. So backup plan number two is the Polish filter. Because this hose is the Polish hose. So let's see if it fits perfectly on a hose and screws them perfectly on well. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's another fail. So we're gonna do this again, but this time we'll get through the same process. 
Uh, I didn't bother to take the air touch seal. That's one mistake I forgot to do in the video. By the way, nah, no big. Well. Yep, it's <laughs> <coughs> oh, good lord. Alright, so my observation is that the, um, the filter works perfectly well. I think that you know, this this hose specifically it fits on, I think, standardized screws, screw shreds that probably fits on the Polish filter. I think possibly the TF1 too, but I, I don't, I mean, the filter, I have a TF1, but again, I probably ran out of juice or something. Yeah, it screws on perfectly well. Thinking that this probably, fil this, this hose doesn't fit, perfect. does not fit on the Russian hose. It may screw well, but I don't think it does fit. So I think I already just found that out, that the, the um, hose for the Polish, that f this is the Polish filter, it can connect to the Polish hose, and then this Polish adapter, the, the feet the male, can easily fit through the female hole where the uh, Soviet gas was at. So I think with that being said, I think the, um, it didn't fail the test, I just think we didn't use the proper right equipment to use. I didn't realize that, but I think this is a Vorsak pack filter, and the, the Polish has that kind of NATO-ish fit in there too, but... I think I recognize this hoe now to think of it. I think Weapon and Stuff made this video about this hose. He used Shalon's, um, fil Shalon's uh, gas mask filter in it, I think. Or was it the uh, PDF? I don't know. But I think that he tested it out and it failed. But somehow I sh screwed in a uh, Russian filter to the same hose he used and it failed too. So what I'm thinking is maybe it's maybe it was the Polish filter that he wasn't using, because this is a standard screw and then the this little right here, this little intake right here, looks like it's a standardized screw too also. So it's both match, and when I test it out, it created air type seal. I could feel the pressure, and so my observation saying that the, maybe the, the, the Russian does not fit on this hose and the Polish does and for point being said I think this is one of those hose that are probably brand new but they're not built to fit in Russian but it's a cool equipment now it's now I think of it now so I know I think weapon and stuff says that the uh I think he said that the GP5 was useless preps I think I kind of proved him wrong just by making this video because I think that the uh, point of view saying is that you know, filters are dangerous, but Polish filters are common to almost to find. But I'm thinking maybe he I proved them wrong that the uh, Polish filters can fit on the Soviet gas mask. And Polish are maybe expensive, but they're good, high quality protection, but not as good as the NATO NATO filters. But again, as far as I know. So now the next video we're gonna do. Um, there's like a one question that everyone tried to ask or not many people ask can you attach a hose into a soviet pmg because i seen to me i even looked up images can you sh can you put a hose in a pmg and nothing that's just a pmg gas mask with no hose otherwise that's probably that's probably it i'm working on a israeli gas mask but that will be later until i think next month i don't know so, if you guys like that video, smash that like, hit that notification button if you want more, or if you really like, if you really like my content on my videos, and just smash the subscribe button for more videos that's coming up. And from this concludes my video. So, catch you guys later.